Welcome to the Lookout on Outlook series brought to you by the Division of Technology Services Teaching and Learning Technologies team at the University of Wisconsin River Falls. Today we're going to look at the relationship between email and calendar and how that affects our daily workflow. So let's get started. Let's first create a meeting on our calendar to see how it affects our email. So we're going to go into the calendar here. We're going to create a meeting request and in the meeting request you can see these buttons up here appointment scheduling assistant and we'll take a look at those as we go along but first let's put a meeting on Freddie's uh, calendar here and we'll call it the testing meeting and we'll put the location of my office in here and let's just create this meeting and when we do he will receive a meeting um, it's missing something here so let's go click on this meeting occurs in the past we're okay send anyway okay it came in right away and now let's go take a look at our email because it's going to give us an email and here we go inside the email and I've got an email right here um, currently I am set up as a delegate with Freddie's account so I can um, receive this for Freddie and I can also respond to it. Normally the person that would receive the email would uh, respond to it. But I've got a couple of things up here. Accept it and I can edit the response before sending. Send it now or do not send a response or tentative things like that. Right now with this um, barbershop type logo icon it tells me that it's a tentative. What I want to remember here is I do not want to just delete this email. Um, what will happen if I just delete this email even though I'm gonna go to the meeting it will delete it out of my calendar so let's go take a look at uh, Freddie's calendar right now I've got Freddie's calendar up here we're gonna dismiss this and so it's appearing here in Freddie's calendar and if I look in Freddie's mail it's right here from Freddie so he can respond to it um, either way but let's go take a look at my calendar again so right now I'm going to accept this and I'm going to say send a response now and what that will do is we'll put it on my calendar if I go on the calendar and look here it is now um, not a tentative appointment on the calendar but it is on the calendar as a meeting that I will go to and then it removed the um, original email that I got and now it tells me this one here that Freddie accepted it because now that's the response so I could delete this email but I don't want to delete the other one that um, I had not responded to. If I would have done that, it would have deleted it. And let's go take a look at uh, Freddie's calendar. And if we look at Freddie's calendar, it's now here and it's on there, um, not as tentative, so it's it's a permanent thing. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens when we actually delete an email instead of responding to one. So we're going to make a new meeting here on this particular day and time, and we'll send Freddie another one. And I'll create this, call this the second test and again at my office and we'll send this and so now we've created one let's take a look at the mail I received a email here if I were to just delete this email it would give me a um, error message or a um, delete message so let's see what's happening I've just got it highlighted now I'm gonna push um, let's pull it up here a little bit so you see what's happening so I do have this right here and you can see that there's an icon there that um, tells us that it's by with an invite with more than one person so if I just highlighted this and deleted this see what happens here so I'm gonna push delete and look at the message we have here deleting this meet meeting request also removes the meeting from the calendar for Freddie so that would remove it from Freddie because I am a delegate of Freddie here so I don't want to do that I'm going to uh, choose cancel on that right now I just wanted to show you what would happen and then let's go out to Freddie and see what happens so I'm at Freddie's calendar here if I look on the calendar it's out here tentatively right let's go back and look at the email and you can see what happened when the participant deletes the email now Freddie might be thinking oh yeah okay I'm looking uh, at Thursday on uh, that time and date and it looks like I'm fine I'll be at the meeting no problem I don't need to notify anybody I'm just gonna delete this meeting so if I um, highlight the meeting and I choose delete on my keyboard 
watch what happens now let's go look at the calendar it just disappeared so even though Freddie might be thinking he's going to the meeting and he doesn't need to um, remind himself with that email it the email was enough so he just deleted it it removed it from the calendar now Freddie doesn't realize that he's got a meeting on Thursday at 7 o'clock and if we go to the uh, original email and calendar um, back on mine here if I open this up in the second test and I look at the tracking it appears to me that Freddie just hasn't responded to this maybe he knows about it maybe he doesn't but it's not appearing on his calendar right now so um, whenever this meeting rolls around Freddie doesn't know about it so the summary that I want to make here is that you have to be careful in um, the communication between the email and the relationship between the email and the calendar if you just delete emails that are calendar appointments it can um, have effects like this where it will delete it off of either yours or somebody else's calendar and then you won't see the responses that you may want to see here and if we pull this up a little bit you can see that these give you the types of uh, responses for the organizer and the required attendee so what you want to do is not um, just delete an email you want to respond and if you were let's go into the calendar here if you were a resource owner I've got a resource out here for the DL test room if I bring that up anytime a appointment is made on a resource the organizer or actually the owner of the resource will not be notified that is by design it's not necessarily the most beneficial way to uh, conduct the workflow here but it is by design and uh, dots is currently looking into a solution to make that a little bit easier to manage so that uh, somehow we can notify the resource owners because currently right now what you'd have to do is frequent the calendar and then respond either accept or decline or delete the uh, meeting requests that are appearing on your resource so there you have it